Hello, everyone, and welcome to Hold On Ministries, a chapter a day. Today, we will be reading from Genesis 8. God remembered Noah, all those alive, and all the animals with him in the ark. God sent a wind over the earth so that the waters receded. The springs of the deep sea and the skies closed up. The skies held back the rain. The waters receded gradually from the earth. After 150 days, the waters decreased. And in the seventh month, on the 17th day, the ark came to rest on the Ararat Mountains. The waters decreased gradually until the 10th month. And on the first day of the 10th month, the mountain peaks appeared. After 40 days, Noah opened the window of the ark that he had made. He sent out a raven, and it flew back and forth until the waters over the entire earth had dried up. Then he sent out a dove to see if the waters on all of the fertile land had subsided. But the dove found no place to set its foot. It returned to him in the ark since waters still covered the entire earth. Noah stretched out his hand, took it, and brought it back into the ark. He waited seven more days and sent the dove out from the ark again. The dove came back to him in the evening, grasping a torn olive leaf in its beak. Then Noah knew that the waters were subsiding from the earth. He waited seven more days and sent out the dove, but it didn't come back to him again. In Noah's 601st year, on the first day of the first month, the waters dried up from the earth. Noah removed the ark's hatch and saw that the surface of the fertile land had dried up. In the second month, on the 17th day, the earth was dry. God spoke to Noah, go out of the ark, you and your wife, your sons, and your sons' wives with you. Bring out with you all the animals of every kind, birds, livestock, everything crawling on the ground, so that they may populate the earth, be fertile, and multiply on the earth. So Noah went out of the ark with his sons, his wife, and his sons' wives, all the animals, all the livestock, all the birds and everything crawling on the ground came out of the ark by their families. Noah built an altar to the Lord. He took some of the clean large animals and some of the clean birds and placed entirely burnt offerings on the altar. The Lord smelled the pleasing scent and the Lord thought to himself, I will not curse the fertile land any more because of human beings since the ideas of the human mind are evil from their youth. I will never again destroy every living thing as I have done. As long as the earth exists, seed time and harvest, cold and hot, summer and autumn, day and night will not cease.